Welcome to Planet Microcap. I'm your host, Robert Kraft, and joining me today is Cameron Watt. He's the president and CEO of InTouch Insight. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you, INX on the TSX Venture and INXSF on the OTCQX. And InTouch Insight will be presenting at our upcoming investor conference, Planet Microcap Showcase Vancouver, in association with Small Cap Discoveries which will be taking place at the Fairmont Waterfront Vancouver on September 25 and 26, 2024. For more information, meet Cameron to see in touch insight. Please visit planetmicrocapshowcase.com. And with that, Cameron, how you doing, man? Good to see you. I, I'm good. That was that was a lot of information it's a there. That's a mouthful. Yeah, it's I'm glad you got it out. It felt I'm good. good. It, it felt good. You know, I mean, there was a slight stump, but then we we finished it and kept going. It was, uh, no, I, you think, know. I think you nailed it. I think we've pretty much done everything we need to cover at this point. I mean, it's just, you know, we're such professionals here. You know, we really are trying to make this, uh, uh, you know, uh, anyway, dude, uh, it's been a minute since we had you on the show. I mean, not a minute. I mean, there's been others that haven't been on for like, for like a few years it's only, it's only been like i'd say a few months with us last time was uh april 2024 but for those that don't know the story you know can you give us that quick overview in history and then we'll go from there yeah i mean we've been uh you know we've been around for publicly since 2002 uh you know we had we were uh, in the customer experience management space so effectively we help companies uh with a lot of locations typically and we help people provide a better customer service we help people improve their business process and we help them improve their customer experience and we do that through services and software uh we do that through mystery shopping audits and other things on site and we also do that through customer experience uh, related software like survey software forms and checklist automation products so and analytics so we, we kind of combine services and software one of the only people that do that in the space is we focus most heavily on qsr and convenience stores uh, but we also of course work in grocery financial services automotive and a number of other areas as well uh we were doing great and running right up to the pandemic. Uh, then we had to do what we call the reset where all of our industries closed their doors, or if they didn't, they didn't need us in there since, you know, they were standing with lineups. Uh, we've been kind of recovering with the market, just like everybody else since the pandemic and uh, the, the, the economic headwinds that everyone keeps thinking are going to die down that don't seem to be wanting to. So we've been, we've been plodding through that with our industries. And despite all that, we have our revenues back up now um to uh beyond pre-pandemic levels um so we're we know we're, we're we're pretty pleased with where we're at very cool all right so last time like i said last time we had you on april 2024 you know let's get that update you know let's last four or five months what would you say are some of the company's highlights well you know highlights really are that when we when we when rocky left bullwinkle we were talking about doing a reset i think because we i came out at the end of uh march um, and, you know, and you have, you have to be, you have to, you have to have this kind of look in the, the, my age to understand when Rocky left Bullwinkle as a commentary, but you can Google that, right? It, it involved Boris and Natasha and a very old TV show. And that was, that was how it went. Or anybody my age knows that reference. Uh, you know, and, and, and when we did that back in April, it was, uh, you know, we had, we'd started the year coming out looking to get like a 30, 40% type of growth number, but we weren't going to do that very profitably. We were going to go and, and grow and get the revenue and go for land grabs. You know, we were told by the market and by shareholders, um, hey, you know, we're not going to reward that because we announced all that and man, nothing happened, right? We, we were told that's not really what we're looking for. Um, you know, earnings per share, uh, profitability is sort of the mantra right now in, in, the, in the space in general. So we have been doing a pivot, which we, 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 we announced we'd be making some change in pivoting, particularly around our ardent business, where we're doing a complete reset. Uh, we're going to bring that back out with a different model, slower growth, more profitability. So we're kind of in the middle of, a, of, a, of our reset right now. Uh, and you're seeing, you know, see, you know, our Q2 results were where I thought were pretty good, um, given what we're, you know, the, given it still got growth, uh, there was some, some profitability, some EBITDA there. Uh, so given everything, I thought was pretty good. The market has not, you know, we, we have not done well on the market since the Q2 release. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that we're in the middle of this change. And so, you know, you know, people are waiting to see what that looks like, I think, to a large degree. Uh, but I can tell you that we are doing exactly the things we said we were going to do. We're doing the things we said we we're going to do in our DNA, as we, as we always do, do the things we said we were going to do. So, you know, as I look at Q3, we're looking for that to continue to be good results as far as, you know, from, from where we were going, where we're expecting and what we've announced the market. Nothing should be off track there from what we've already positioned. Uh, and I think once we've kind of got ourselves 
uh, going the other direction. We're, we're going to still aim at that growth. It just won't be the same type of growth, uh, but we're going to aim at higher per level of profitability as well in cash flow um, because that that's what people are looking for. So we're kind of in that change moment right now for the rest of the year. So Cameron, close out here, uh, two part question for you. The first one I asked this to you uh, to close out every single one from what you can tell us, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts? to close out 24 going into 25. And then what would you say are the one to two reasons why folks should want to come and meet and see in touch in Vancouver? Look, the value catalyst is really simple. Uh, you know, we are a company that has sticky clients, industry thought leadership. We've we've proven we can weather crises like of, of an extreme nature. We've got long-term growth. We've got continued growth. We've got responsible fiscal management. You know, uh, we do, we avoid dilution. We've got all of these things going for it. Did anyone looking at a micro cap? Like, well, that's really great. So, I mean, there is clear, some of a value proposition. I don't even need to talk about, you know, future profitability, future growth. Just today's numbers, there's a value proposition. And, you know, why you should come to Vancouver or, or listen in on the on the audio feed or or come to meet with me if you're out there is uh, you might want to learn a little bit more about I, I just said we have all those things. Uh, well, I can provide you, you know, I can provide you the information that backs it up. Absolutely. So with that camera, where can our audience go and find more information on InTouch Insight? Obviously, InTouchInsight.com is our website. Uh, there's an investor section there and there's information about our products and services and everything listed right there. And of course, you can always go look at the the OTC QX or the TSX V as well. Very good. Well, Cameron, always appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I will, uh, I'll see you in Vancouver. We'll see you in Vancouver. Thanks, man.